Summoners and Summonettes, it's Gordon here, and today I'm bringing you the first episode of a new mini-series that I'm calling Mastering the Midlane, and if you couldn't guess by the title, it is me pretty much just trying to become a better midlaner because in February of 2016, I'm actually traveling, I have no idea where it is in Canada, I think it might be Ontario, but there is a pretty big, <clears throat> excuse me, tournament up there happening and I'm going to be going with the Kineticon team with you know Orlando and those guys two dollars namesake stuff like that so gotta prepare for that I'm gonna be playing mid lane so hopefully we can get a little bit better at it so let's go ahead and get right on into it picking up the D ring double health pot as well as warning totem I'm playing Azir today probably one of my worst champions ever just I struggle with his kit I know what he does I understand what he does but for some reason I just struggle to translate that onto the rift so hopefully we're gonna be improving on him today and I thought a little idea that I could maybe do is play you know and record a game with champions that I just are completely bad at to be honest and then maybe a week or two later after I work on them more off of recordings just a normal games and stuff like that maybe we'll do like a progress video to see if I got any better at them so that might be a cool idea but uh, before we really get into things while I'm just last hitting, trying to hit level 2 and stuff, I just want to say uh, sorry for those who kind of got offended at the latest video I put out with my team. I know a lot of you guys uh, weren't big fans of the Lucian in that video, so just wanted to say I'm sorry for that. And I know, you know, I can say you didn't mean it, which is, it's true, like, he doesn't mean stuff like that. And it doesn't really bother me because I don't notice it, because I know he doesn't really mean stuff like that. But uh, that video was not really well liked. Ooh, don't know if that's a rage quit or <laughs> if he just actually DC'd. But uh, just since it wasn't really well liked, I think I'll just keep that team stuff on the DL and not really worry about putting that content out, unless it's like really good content and stuff. So I just want to let you guys know that I do take all your comments into consideration and stuff like that. So probably not going to be putting out as much content with that team. So... We'll move on to that though, and we'll just say sorry and oops for that one. But hopefully Illoi can come back to this game. Already gave him a free lane. Okay, there she is. Yeah, I think she must have just DC'd for that first blood, which is really unfortunate because she might be pretty far behind now against that Mel's, and that is no bueno. Alright, so against Ari, pretty much going to be a probably pretty boring matchup to be honest. I don't see us ever really killing each other until level 6 then things get, might get a little explosive so we'll see but uh, I did put two points into my W don't really need my E early on in the lane and I'm actually gonna be maxing my Q here because I think that's the main source of damage that I'm going to get down onto Ari in this lane but I wanted two points into my W early but I think we'll go for that Q max now we will snag our E level 4 though just so we can have that mechanic available to us if we so choose. Alright, nice. Got the Thunder Lord's proc there. That is going to evaporate that little uh, minion there. Let's see if... Okay, we can just walk it off. Whew. It is an Uder gank, so yeah, I'm not really afraid of anything. I do have my E, so I can escape with that as well. Oh, If you haven't noticed already, I'm just a terror bad at last hitting without the soldiers. Actually, even with the soldiers, I'm bad. Right, let's proc that Thunder Lord's again. Oh god, he came back again. Alright, let's see if we can uh, get over this wall. We should be able to Q into E and we're out. Okay. It's not bad. We took quite a chunking from that, but we didn't have to use anything. So that's all we have to do whenever Uter ganks. We just be careful and then plop down. Ow. Should have dodged that orb. Yeah, as long as we can kite him out and then get that uh, E off, we'll be fine. Because he can't really close that distance unless the flash bear slaps us. So, that's going to force me to use my potions. Oh, I didn't notice her start. She actually started off with that, uh... Frost, or... What the hell is this called? The Edge. It's both these Edge. <laughs> so, she doesn't actually have the, uh... Gank coming out of Echo, though. Not the best, but... Oh, God. Okay, he's got to immediately flash out. And luckily, he doesn't end up dying there. That was almost really bad, though. Alright, let's see if we can get these minions. I gotta hit this, and then... Wait! Nope, gonna miss it. But, uh... What was I even saying? Holy moly. 
Oh well. <laughs> I totally lost my... Oh yeah, it's about these edge start. That's not really too good on her, because you're not going to ever get the gold, because you're last hitting constantly. Normally you want just a completed item if you're going for that in the mid lane, and you start off with Doran's Ring to give you a little bit of laning stats, so... Not the best pickup out of the Ari, which hopefully will allow us to bully her a little bit here. Obviously we don't have a whole much, bunch of health. Okay, Uder's bot side. We're going to hover towards top now because of that. But let's go ahead and... What? I didn't even say attack that one. Hit that one. There we go. <laughs> got the minions. Oh, got that one too. But yeah, gonna be hovering top side now because we do know the position of the Udyr. Ew, that was a bad Q. I need to be hitting all those Qs to keep the poke damage on this Ari. But we do hit level 6. She has no mana. She is level 6 as well, though. But uh, not scared of her with her mana pool at the moment. So let's try and abuse the fact that she doesn't have much mana and maybe go for a pretty aggressive trade here because she only has mana for that one spell and there it goes all right let's get fighting here so only that first blood still coming out top lane so far behind because of that though but i uh, can't blame them i mean you dc you dc i think she actually is going back here so i'm going to try and shove this wave out to the best of my ability and this is where uh, things get sketchy, me trying to shove waves on Azir. <laughs> Never a pretty thing. Alright, looks like we're tracking down the Udyr. Go, 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 go. Alright, we should have him locked down here. Oh, this is so good. What a great W right there. Should lead into him getting stunned, and we're going to go ahead and poke him down here. And there's his flash. Can't keep chasing, unfortunately. Did get the flash, but uh, nothing else. If I was a little bit closer, I was going to try and use my ult, but... That's a no-go. Ari returns back to lane with components of that... S or Frost Queen's claim. I cannot talk. <laughs> when can I ever, though? Ew, that W or Q is awful. I'm just going to try and get rid of this wave and then go back, hopefully. So I don't get killed because she has the purchase advantage over me. So we'll go ahead and go back now. I'm okay with the amount of gold we're at. <clears throat> and we'll probably pick up the... I want to go for Morello, actually, or sorry, not Morello, uh, I want to go for the Fiendish Codex first, and I'm actually going to grab, we're going to do kind of a hybrid purchase here. I like Double Doran's Rings because you don't actually have a mana regen item on Azir, and it helps a little in the early game here, it gives you a little bit more uh, effective stats at the moment, but I prefer going for the Fiendish Codex over the uh, Tooth in this case. What the hell is this called? The Stinger, oh my god, the components. <laughs> I prefer that just because against Ari, I'm not going to get too many auto attacks off. I want to have the AP, the raw AP for the burst on the Q, so that'll allow me to uh, chunk her down a little bit quicker rather than doing these long extended trades because that just isn't going to happen against Ari. And then we'll pick up boots as well, we'll grab another Doran. So we get a multi purchase here, and I think it's a pretty good buy. Thought they might have been doing Drake, but they were not. Wasn't sure where Ari was, but she does return back to lane. And again, with her having only the Frost Tank, she's not going to get any gold generation out of that item. So, uh, she's missing out. Oh no, oh, we actually ended up still getting that minion. Nice. Bot lane going down, though, unfortunate. So, it looks like I might have to... Oh, both of them dying. Oh, I gotta step up and make some plays, then. What? They're full health still. How did that even happen? Alright, let's see if we can poke Ari down one more. Nope. Always trying to get that third auto to proc that Thunderlord's Decree. Really help us out with the uh, poke. Oh, barely sidestep that. It's always dangerous to stand in the minion wave because Ari wants to Q anyways and hit multiple targets. And if you're standing in the minion wave, it just makes her life that much easier hitting everybody in the club. Alright, let's go. Mm, only got one auto attack on, and I missed the Q. I need to make all those count. Alright. Just gonna finish off this minion with auto attacks. I feel like we're actually bowling her pretty well, but my other lands are just so far behind. This could uh, not result in the best of endings for us. So I think we gotta make a desperation, not a desperation play, but we gotta make a pretty aggressive play, try and put us on the board here. What is, I struggle with keys apparently. I'm just <laughs> not able to hit anything. Alright, if we ward topside, we're going to hover topside, because I have no idea where the Udyr is. Alright, they did just get dragon, so now I know where he is, so I'm definitely hovering topside now. 
This is probably going to become in mid lane, because I'm being pretty aggressive on it, this Ari. And the second I use my Q, I'm actually very vulnerable, because I don't have that uh, up to allow me to extend my escape route here. So, got to be very mindful of when I'm using my Q. I will, should be able to attack that, yes, and it will hit both those minions. Easy. Their blue buff might be up at the moment, which I think Ari is over there at the moment, so I'm going to try and just push this out and make her maybe miss a minion or two at the turret, or this will allow me just a little bit of roam pressure. Wow, she didn't actually even get blue. I don't know where this child is roaming. Alright, I need one more auto there. Aw. Yeah, we popped Thunder Loads! Look at that chunk damage, that was pretty bad though. <laughs> But we propped it. Pretty slop. Oh dear, spot lane again. They're probably dead. Please take the lantern out. Okay, they're safe. Whew. I just always assume my team is gonna die whenever I see the jungler there. I'm rude. I always assume the worst. <laughs> Alright, let's poke these minions to death. Udir might be coming mid lane now, actually. So, again, still going to forever hover topside. Udir is bot. Echo is actually at their rates, so. I'm expecting to be safe if I get ganked. But uh, again, Ari Mia could be going bottom. Really doubt it though. But just gonna always have this pressed in, hopefully, to maybe make. Oh, get the proc! Nice, got the proc. That's just a ton of damage. Echo actually looking to. He actually did. Wow. He just straight up turned over and killed her, actually. I could have followed up a lot more on that, but I was very slow for some reason. But that is going to be a kill there, and Ari just goes down. That's going to be a lot of turret damage, because Azir is one of the best. Oh my god, please don't do that ever again, Connor. Accidentally missed a right click. I was trying to attack a minion and just walked under the turret after hitting the Udyr. That was almost just awful. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. That was just almost so bad. All right, so going to... I have nothing to say about that. I legitimately, well, Uder flashed, which is good, but I meant to press E and I just pressed R. That's all I have to say about that. I was going to try and slide in and then R back, and I just straight up pressed my R key before I pressed E by accident. So my ult is now on cooldown. I'm just going to embarrassingly go back here and chop. That's all I have to say about that one. Ooh, that was bad. <laughs> all right, we got the Nash. So that's good for us. I'm just gonna plop the uh, soldier away from us while we're regaining some mana, and then we'll run back to lane. Save us a few seconds going back. My bot lane is struggle. Look at their health. How does that happen? They are so healthy, and they still got the double kill. I don't know, man. We're gonna have to step up revolution here, and that is gonna be a daunting task if you just witnessed our ultimate. Oh my god, the damage, though. Man, yeah, not having the... The best the games already. We're CSing pretty well, but <laughs> it's not gonna save us if we have alts like that. Alright, I'm actually pretty scared because I don't have my alt now. So if I get caught out by an Ari Charm, Uder follows up with his, you know, flash bear slap, we could be in for some booty. And I don't like that. I mean, I like booty, but I don't like that kind of booty, if you know what I mean. So, no eyes on Melzar. Kind of scary. Got eyes on bot lane. Warded the top side, so again, gonna be hovering this top side. And try to just keep poking down this Ari, keep her on our toes. And once that alt comes back up, we do have the ability to maybe pick up a kill on her here. Alright, if he comes for that minion. Alright. Not bad. Didn't proc the Thunderlords again, but it's just easy, easy poke with throwing the Q in there into a few auto attacks. Okay, that Q was not good though. I need to hit all of these. Really keep her guessing. Alright, bot lane's pushing to their turret, which means since they aren't showing and defending that turret, they could be. Okay, they just went back, but they got back now. I was gonna say they could have been rotating mid, but they're not, luckily. Echo hovering topside again. Not sure if he's gonna gank her again, but uh, he might. Yep, there goes his W. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll throw the E in. Never mind. He's going to get charmed. He has his ult, though, so he's fine. Really not expecting him to be in any danger there. Let's just go ahead and plop down some damage onto this turret, and we should be able to take it soon. 
So, her not having all pretty big, now I can dive her pretty easily. Bot lane died again, though. No surprise there, unfortunately. Can we kick this guy's butt? Yeah, we should be able to kick this guy's too. She doesn't have flash, so if we get on top of him, we should be fine. He did get slowed, but we're not gonna pursue that anymore. AD Malzahar top. He's got Black Cleaver and Tear. So that's how that's going. We do get sighted by the uh, spooky ghosts of Ari, but I don't think anything's gonna happen. Malzahar is here. We're just gonna politely back the hill up and not cause any disruption. Alright, I really need to help out Botlin, I guess. Nami shows there. 1 to 7 is the overall score. They are just getting smacked. Alright, let's let's take some chickens, I guess, is what we can do at the moment. So we'll go ahead. No, don't reset on me, buddy. Why do you do this to me? Alright, we'll take chickens. It's pretty easy to take them here. They are doing Drake. I don't see us escaping this at all. We could try for a steal, but no, not gonna happen. So that is their second dragon. Udyr's already sated at 16 minutes because he's just doing whatever he wants with the pressure on the map that he has. I, I would be doing too if I was that Udyr. So that makes me super sad that... Oh, they lane swapped. Okay, so Malzahar is coming mid. So he is AD Mal's. Gotta respect that. We'll try and just get some poke damage down on him. And really gotta avoid getting the E proc on us now since it is that AD Mal's. Because that will make his minions focus me, and that is no good. So, we will not allow that to get onto us. I don't know why we're trying to gank the Mal's at the moment. I think we should be doing other things on the map. Alright, we'll just clear out these minions. Hello? Oh my god, failure. Alright. What can we do? We can try and take top turret, which I think would be a pretty smart play at the moment. Bot lane. Trist first vein. All she has to do is not die, but maybe that's asking a little bit too much, unfortunately. I'm gonna go back. I have a lot of gold, and uh, is this warded? Might have been warded. Not too sure. I want to go back and help out this Trist because I know she's just gonna get turret dove because Nami shows up now. Trist honestly shouldn't even be standing there. No reason to be standing there. If she gets hit by any skill, she's just done so. All right, do we have enough? I'm not sure if I want to go Lucidity Boots or Sorches. I actually don't know what the proper uh, pickup is, unfortunately. So we'll just hold on to the gold for now and probably a Sork Shoes. So a bot lane gets out. No harm there. Let's see if we can defend this turret. Hopefully we can. We should be able to go in on this. Nice grab on the Udyr Siphon there. We'll go ahead and do a whole bunch of damage to this guy. Try and proc that uh, Vessel. That's what it's called. I forgot what it was called for a second. Actually, we'll come down bottom, see if we can swoop in behind him, maybe make a play with our alt. But I'm pretty damn sure they know, because they are just immediately running away, and we're not going to catch them. There's no way we catch them. Yeah, we're just wasting time. And the bubble was there, ready to hit me as well. So glad we didn't keep chasing that one. Uder's at his wolves, we see him. Let's see if we can get some mad poke down onto this Ari. And by mad poke, I mean miss my skill shot and do no damage at all. <clears throat> Ugh, my throat. Alright, Ari. My dear. I'm gonna have to ask you to die. Hmm. We'll, we'll set up shop here with the turret. I actually wanna... I wanna keep everybody pressed here. I want to have some uh, map control at the moment. What was that cue? That was bad is what that was. Alright, I want to start forcing the fights here though. I'm not going to be able to proc Thunderlords there unfortunately. But we still are getting a decent amount of damage. Not going to get hit by a passive orb there. Ugh, that turret shot was so bad though. I did not need to take any of that damage. One more. Nice, big damage right there out of the Thunderlords. So, this turret allowing me to put mad pressure on the map. I am probably going to get flanked from Udyr at some point though. So I gotta respect that. Malzar is coming as well. That word's saving my life. Alright. Udyr's here as well. Not gonna happen, kid. Vayne is in a 1v2, so hopefully they can finally lock her down. They're actually... Oh, they got her. That's so big for us. So big. I think Vayne actually messed that up. I saw two uh, 
silver bolts on Tristana, and if she had just had autoed her one more time, she might have been able to actually pick up that kill. But I think she ended up accidentally swapping targets and resetting those bolts. So that is huge for us. They're actually doing Baron right now. The three of them can do Baron so... They're on it! Come on! I ping for a reason! I know they're on it. They did a 20 minute Baron rush. They already got it, team. What are you doing? They already have Baron. Ugh. It's so obvious. The split pushing Vayne just creating pressure and then 80 Malzar and Udyr sated just destroy Nash. So that was pretty obvious. Sad that they got that so freely. Even if they did get it, I knew they were going to probably get it. I would have liked to uh, have fought them in the Baron pit. It was obvious. 80 Malz plus Udyr destroy. Hopefully she doesn't actually engage. I need to go back. Alright, so I'm gonna look for that Crystal Scepter here. It's just a really potent combo because you're able to slow everybody all the time. And oh man, them having. Did Vayne get Baron? Vayne did not get Baron. That is one of our saving graces at the moment. She's not applying that in all of the lanes. So we got a break with that one. We'll go ahead and go back, grab Giant's Belt and Sork Shoes here. So the fact that we don't have three lanes of. Baron Empowered Minions is very beneficial to us. Let's see if we can uh, bully this girl out. Let's go ahead and see if we can swoop her in with the ultimate here. We do get her and should be able to kill her. Nicely done. So flash behind her to throw her under the turret and allow Trist to hit her. Very dangerous. If she had flash, we both honestly would have died, but luckily she didn't. Is anyone going to defend top lane? What is wrong with my team? Okay. They actually might be able to get this in-hit turret too. Looks like they're just gonna press for it. Hopefully we can get them off. Okay, we do. God, they're just using this Baron to the fullest of their abilities. All right, and this grab gonna make the Nami a vessel there. So that gives us a little bit of breathing room. Gotta clear out all these waves though. They're constantly pushing everything in. <clears throat> so this is, this is gonna be a hard couple of minutes for us to defend our turrets, but it looks like we only lose one. For now, which is okay. But Udyr's still gonna forever press into this. As long as we can save the inhibit turrets, I'm okay with where we're at, but it could be hard. Alright, they got Dragon. What? We didn't. Why didn't we get Dragon when they were doing Baron? I didn't even realize we didn't take that. I thought we had that. That's another mistake. We should have at least one Dragon right now. Somebody go top lane, please. Alright. We're going to have to give up that turret bottom. I don't think we should defend that. Udyr is going to create too much pressure. I have to come up, I think, and uh, at least stay mid to deal with the vein. Oh, man. All right, get chunk, kid. I'm actually going to take these and see if we can... Okay, that's not too bad. Might be able to kill the Nami. Oh, what? Why is she still alive? Okay, we ended up killing her. I thought the Echo had her, like... To be completely honest, I expected her to die, but apparently she was able to kite that out and kill him, so it might be on that one. I got greedy and wanted to go for Nami as well. <clears throat> Alright, they're still pushing mid. I doubt I can defend this. I'm just going to pop two soldiers up. They don't actually have Baron, so never mind. Might... Mm, no. Alright, just going to have to push this away, and we're out. So, as soon as she alts, if she doesn't hit that charm, I'm just going to put the wall up and then immediately disengage. Luckily, she did not hit that charm. Actually hit the minion, so we walk away unscathed there. Udyr still forever AFK pushing in the top lane. We really need to make a pick, make an aggressive play, and just get them off of our base, off of our turrets. We need to make a play. All right, next up, I think I'm gonna go for a Void Staff. I wanna be actually they don't have any MR. Maybe we'll go for the death cap then here. Or we could turn this into zonas, whatever we want, but regardless buying that amplifying tome. So maybe we can siege here if I put up a turret and not allow them to constantly push every lane. So that might be the go-to. Udyr's gonna still AFK push top lane, I think. He's just set on sitting in that lane until the end of the game. Alright, blue buff is up I'd love to get that but oh my god they're applying so much pressure with this three lane push and it is super frustrating 
Damn, blue buff's not even up. Hmm. Alright, Shay's too far, and he said, Tristan, just leave, he's dead. He's dead. There's no way you can save him. Yeah. Oh, he's dead. Yeah, okay, I thought I actually might have gotten out with that lantern, but Tris almost died with that as well. Would have been really poor. She died as well. Alright, in a flank like position, we'll see if we can do some damage to her. Uder still top lane, trying to poke people down. Alright. Oh my god. That damage is actually pretty disgusting. So as long as Illaoi can hold Udyr to that lane, I'm fine with him sitting there, but the second he starts knocking down turrets, we're in some trouble here. But uh, bot lane, they go down just for chasing a little bit too far, which is unfortunate, because that just gives them pressure to take that one turret, and they're slowly just whittling away at our base, which is not okay. You saw Malzahar, you saw Malzahar. Alright, hopefully I can get there in time to save her. He doesn't have ult, or he shouldn't have ult. Alright, let's see if we can go on to him here and actually pull him back with the alt. We actually did something good. There he goes. And see if we can slow her. She is slowed. She should be able to get perma slowed here. And she does have to end up flashing out. I'm going to go back right away because, again, they're just pushing all the lanes. Vayne's thinking she's slicked by pushing bot lane. But I'm coming back for the booty. Alright, let's see if she continues to press. I'm here, and she doesn't have tumble, so maybe we can uh, pick her off. Nope, she's too fast. Didn't have ult up as well. But that's what we have to do. We have to just make these aggressive picks, and then hopefully that will relieve some pressure on the map and allow us to do something like a Nash or something. But I think we actually should go for this right away. I'm going to go ahead and try and shove up this next wave, and then put up an Azir turret in mid at their mid T1. And maybe that'll give us enough uh, zoning to maybe sneak the Nash here. I think we really should go for this. I think we could destroy it. Alright, so we're going to set up shop there. Ari shows up. I'm actually going to go in on this right now. I don't even think she saw me. There goes her ult and flash. I probably should have ignited. I guess I wasn't expecting to do so much damage. Oh god, we almost could have just died right there. But uh, as long as Tristana does not die... We should be good to maybe force onto this Baron, so... I'm liking having that turret set up right there. We need to force onto this really bad. Actually, Vayne, Vayne came back. Okay, this is fine. The fact that Vayne shows up again is pretty big. Alright, just gonna poke her down for pretty much all of her health there. This is so good. We have a power play. Because they're really chunked down, so if we get a hook on somebody or anything, we'll be in a good spot. But uh, not gonna happen at the moment. Alright, can we pull her in? I can't get the ult off, so I'm probably dead. I got hit by the charm. I went for the pick, and I probably just did the game, unfortunately. I wasn't close enough. I thought... I, it was a bad Q again. It just didn't go where I wanted it to go. I wanted to be a little bit closer. And they're gonna get Baron now because of it. Oh, I actually played so well most of the game. And then I do that. And they get Nash now, and they're gonna get a lot of kills on us. Yeah, that's the game. Oh, I went for the play, man. If I got that pick right there, that would have been huge. But that is the game now. Oh, that's so sad. Man, I, I did everything I could, though. I mean, that was just... <laughs> that was one of those games we were behind the entire time, no matter what. And it's hard when, relatively speaking, all three lanes were pushed the entire game. Did have most gold on our team, so we did what we could. Ended up throwing, trying to make the game play. Look, look at the charts. The charts don't lie, man. We were the only reason that game was not a 20-minute surrender. I think I could have got a lot more kills early on, though. I missed a lot of harass and lane, and I needed to be probably a lot more aggressive onto that Ari to maybe get a bigger lead, to maybe end up carrying that game, so... It's unfortunate the first game is a loss, but I think it was still a pretty good learning experience. I definitely, let me tell you, I played Azir a lot better than I had the past couple of days, so I'm okay with that. Udyr was actually 0-0-0. Zero, zero, zero. That's amazing. If you liked the video, go ahead and throw a like. I'll have all my other social media, such as Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook, as well as in Smash News in the info box below. And as always, guys, I will see you all next time.